This is my very DIY tally light system in action, which I built to run with VidBlaster. It's based around a Velleman kit, simple USB experimenters board, which has eight outputs and four inputs. And I'm basically using the outputs to switch the LEDs in the little tally light boxes that I've built to put on top of the cameras. The control software is based on the example code that you get with the Velleman kit. What I then had to do was to add on the code that would communicate with the TCP server in VidBlaster and find out at any point in time which of the inputs on the switcher was the active one in order to then switch the LED lights. It's not a terribly elegant piece of code. The user interface isn't terribly pretty, so I'm not going to show it you. Suffice it to say, it does the job. The display boxes that go on top of the camera are designed to have two LEDs, one at the front and one at the back. So the front LED is for the performers to see, the LED at the back is for the camera operator to see. On these original versions, the LEDs aren't that bright. The brightness is fine for the operator behind the camera who's pretty close to it, but it's not so good maybe for a presenter who's you know, halfway across the studio. This is my second version of the display unit. I've now put a much bigger LED in the front and I've also set the brightness higher. In the back it still has the same small size LED which is perfectly adequate for the operator to see. The idea of these boxes is that I've put a hot shoe mount underneath so that they clip onto the top of the camera if it has a hot shoe mount on it. Alternatively, you can really just fix it on with anything available, elastic bands, tie wraps. Um, doesn't really matter, <laughs> simply to give you a tally light facility on a budget. The boxes at the moment simply have a fixed cable, so there's no connector plug and socket on the box. The cable simply comes out of the box, just to keep the cost down. Has a mini jack connector on the end, again there cheap and readily available and you can buy mini jack extender leads fairly easily and cheaply should you need to extend them. The inside of the control box has a Velleman USB kit. It has eight open collector outputs which are wired to the sockets along with a power unit to control the LEDs. This particular board also has four input connections that can be wired to external switches or for testing purposes there are switches on the board and these can be used to control functions within VidBlaster for example cutting between inputs. The board connects to the external world via a standard USB connector. I've just put some mini jack sockets on the side for the moment there's only four of them wired up but potentially there can be eight which would control up to eight cameras. They're probably not the best looking of boxes, but then they don't really have to be. This is simply a DIY project to test the technology. They could be replaced by anything else. That said, they do the job. It's probably better to have some kind of tally light system, even a low budget, not very elegant version like this one, than not to have a tally light system at all. It does make a difference both for the operators and the people in front of the camera to be able to see which camera is on and when.